hello once again and welcome back to jam chemistry class and of course in this class we are going to looking at electronic configuration electronic configuration all right so electronic configuration is simply the arrangement of electrons in an atom no other definition that is the simplest basic definition of electronic configuration the arrangement arrangement of electrons in an atom this is what electronic configuration what entails right so also there are so many methods for writing electronic configuration for example, we have the SPDF method. Another one we have is the electron dot and cross method. Then we also have the box diagram method. These are all methods for what? For writing electronic what? Configuration. Now, before we write electronic configurations, you have to know that there are rules that govern what the writing of electronic configurations. There are some rules that govern the writing of electronic configurations. An example, some of those rules include one, we have the Aufbau principle. Aufbau principle. We also have the Holmes rule. Holmes rule of maximum multiplicity. And then thirdly, we have the police exclusion principle poly police exclusion principle so these are what rules that govern what the writing of what electronic configuration your job is to make sure you know what electronic configuration are you have to make sure you know methods for writing electronic configuration and you have to make sure you know the principles for what for writing electronic configuration all right so but for the scope of this class we are going to discuss the principle first after which we start discussing what the word the methods for writing electronic configuration one after the other now do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you by the o3 schools jam app o3 schools jam cbt practice app as all the recent past question you will need for your exam right for all subjects not just for your four subjects for your, for all subjects all right and of course what makes us to stand out is our jam utme challenge this is a this is a challenge that's conducted by us for all jam students writing exam for this year now there may be up to like 20 jam utme challenge before your main exam right it's like a mock for you but it's a competition because you are not writing alone you are competing with other jam bites now what does that competition help you to achieve it helps you to what to see your score each time you participate in what in the challenge as you, you see your score you know your weak areas and you begin to improve on them right so you do not want to miss out of that of course there are so many other cool features but i do not want to be talking about the app throughout this video so please head over to play store it has been displayed on 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 your screen on the screen below just go to play store right now download that app have it on your phone once you have on your phone start practicing your way to success in jam examination we have hacked it so you have the app you have what success all right so i'm going to head over to uh what we're talking about and before i forget activating the app is just 2500 it's a one-time payment once you pay you get your app activated for life provided you do not delete the app from your phone on no condition should you delete the app from your phone or should you flash your phone because flashing your phone also means that what you are deleting the app from your phone right so once you don't do these two things the app will remain forever activated for just 2500 naira on your phone do not say you are not told all right now let's look at the first principle which is what Aubau what principle now that word sounds jam German, isn't it? Now let's see. Aubau principle. Aubau. This is a German word. Aubau is a word. It's a German word that means building up. All right. For those of you who have the privilege of being taught German, uh, uh, German in schools, and some of you are taught French, are taught German, are taught uh, uh, whatever other language. 
right? So Chinese too, some people have been taught Chinese. Me, I never had those privilege, right? But if you had the privilege of being taught German, right? Know that what I hope of what is a German word that means building up. So this man was suggesting that in building up an atom, in building up an atom, electrons are filled into orbitals. Electrons are filled into orbitals in increasing order of their energies. Electrons are filled into orbitals in increasing orders of their what energy. So I hope I means building up. And he said in building up an atom, electrons are filled into orbitals in increasing order of their what of their energy. What does this mean? This means that electrons or oh sorry orbitals with lower energy are filled first before what the orbitals with higher energy. That means you must start filling from the orbitals that have what lower energy, then you take it up to those that have what higher energy. Now let me portray this point more with this illustration. Let's see. Now if you have all these orbitals 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, and 7s. Then you have 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p. Then you will have uh, 3 uh, d, 4 d, and 5d. Then you will have 4 f. Now this shows that what 1s orbital has the lowest energy here. Then followed by what the 2s orbital, followed by the 2p orbital before the 3s what orbital, right? So now this is what he was talking about in. Uh, uh, in building up an atom, electrons are filled what, into orbitals in increasing what order of your energy. That means you first of all have to what, fill what 1s first. Once you fill 1s, then you go up, you, you fill the other, the higher energy, 2s. Then you fill 2p and what? And 3s next. Right? Then what's next again? You fill what? 3p and 4s. After filling 3p and 4s, you go to the next what energy, uh, higher orbital, you fill 3d, 4p, and 5s. Then, after filling that, you fill what? 4d, 5p, and 6s. After filling, you fill what? 4f, 5d, 6p, and 7 what s. So, now, this, are, this is what this is the order of what? Of filling electrons into what orbital? 1s goes first, 2s goes first, 2p, and what? 3s go next, then 3p. And what 4s go next before 3d. So after 3p is not 3d, it's what is for after 3p is 4s. So before what 3d, 4p, 5s, then 4d, 5p, 6s, then 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s. So this is what the order of what of filling electrons into orbital as suggested by Arof or Bao, right? And this, this uh, principle is very useful when writing what SPDF electronic configuration so please put that at the back of your mind now let's go over to the next principle and that is by frederick hund frederick hund this is called the hund's rule hund's rule of maximum multiplicity multiplicity now this rule was stated by a man called Friedrich Hund. Friedrich Hund in the year 1927. And of course, he was saying that what one when filling what electrons into what orbitals, like electrons are filled what in singly first. Electrons are filled in singly. S I N G L Y. Electrons are filled in singly first, first, before pairing what begins. So this means that what before you begin to what to pair electrons, right? You have to what fill them in what singly first, one after the other. So assuming that what each pin is an electron, right? You have to fill those what uh, electron electrons singly first before you start pairing. Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity is very useful when writing electronic configuration using the box diagram method. 
boss diagram method it's a method we are going to see in the next video all right so that is holds true of maximum multiplicity even if you do not understand it now when we do the boss diagram method you will what refer back to the holds true of maximum multiplicity and see what how useful it is all right now let's go to the last word principle for writing electronic configuration right now before we go to that last principle please do not forget to give this video a like giving it a like means that other students like you can find this video that is one then do not forget to subscribe to this youtube channel just click on the red subscribe button below this video subscription does not mean you are paying you are not paying anything to anybody subscription means that once you release a new video like this bam you get a notification on your phone that O3 Schools has released or published a new video. You'll be among the first to be notified, right? So please do not think you are paying anything. It is free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And of course, do not be stingy. Click on the share button. Share this video to your class group. Share it to what? To your jam group and so on and so forth so that others can benefit. Now, let's go to the last principle for what? Writing electronic configuration. And that is called the police exclusion principle right police exclusion word principle this principle was stated by a man called wolf uh wolf gang poly in the year 19 25 so wogan poly was taking this principle in the year 1925 and of course what was it saying now if you saw the previous video we have shown one a hint about what police exclusion word principle where no two electrons in an atom had what exactly the same value for all four quantum numbers right so now wogan poly in police exclusion principle which was uh, called the cornerstone of chemistry if you remember very well, it was referred to as the cornerstone of what of chemistry. It stated that what no two electrons in an atom, no two electrons, electrons in an atom have exactly the same value for all four quantum numbers all right so a uh, police exclusion principle made a poly what made a, a very very wonderful observation right and it stated that what no two electrons in an atom can have exactly the same value for all four quantum numbers the four quantum numbers are the principal quantum number the azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum number the magnetic which is the third quantum number and the spin quantum number no two electrons in an atom can have exactly the same value for all four quantum numbers now in our next video we are going to be talking about the methods for writing electronic configuration having been kept abreast with the principles that guide us in writing what is electronic word configuration my name remains Oulabi Tangod, and i'll see you in the next class